Hey, this is Rusty Cooley from Outworld, and today we're going to be checking out some alternate picking. Uh, we're going to be using an E blues scale on a single string. Um, well, before we get started, let's tune up. Um, here's an E. All right, there you go. So let's look at what's going on. Um, everything with the right hand is alternate picking. So, so you just want to make sure that you alternate pick every note. And obviously, when you're on a single string, there's not much choice but you know to alternate pick when you're trying to play fast. Anyway, so a couple of pointers on the picking is make sure that you hold the pick um, close to the tip, and you want to have a slight angle so that the pick cuts through the string a little bit. If you pick flat, you get you get hung up on it, and it uh, it'll slow you down. Another thing that I do when I'm picking really fast is I'll pick closer to the bridge because the string tension is tighter back here and there's less give. The closer you get to the neck, it gets real floppy. So it's, uh, for me, it's better to pick back here. Um, with the left hand, um, we're going to start with this shape right here, which is uh, 9, 12, 14. And then we're going to move up to this position, which is 12, 14, 15. And then we have 14, 15, 16 and then 15, 16, 19, and 16, 19, 21. Now, we're not just going to be playing straight up. We're going to be using a sequence of fives, <coughs> um, or a grouping of fives, which is one of my favorite ways to play sequences. So I'm actually going to start um, on the 14th fret with my pinky, and the first group of five is going to go like this. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so. Now, one of my favorite things about fives is every time you move up in the sequence, the group of notes flips um, the direction the notes are going. So what I mean is the first group of five uh, descends and then ascends. The next group of five is going to ascend and then descend. So and then we got. So as you can see, every time I moved up a position, I was starting on the opposite end of the three notes, going from descending to ascending and continuing to flip that all the way up to the high E, so one octave up, so 9 to 21. And once you get up there, then we're just going to turn it around and go back. So. So up to speed. All right, that'll do it for this month. Thanks for checking it out. See you next month right here at DeanGuitars.com.